I kid you not, as soon as I turned on the camera, my heart just like immediately started beating really hard. But, okay. Hey, what's up you guys? So today, I wanna to talk to you guys about something. So 2014 has been by far the biggest year for me. I've done a lot of things and gone a lot of places and you guys know all about that, but you don't know the biggest thing that's happened to me this year. So I'm sitting here in front of you with no script, no plan, no fancy editing, and I'm just gonna be really honest. 2014 is truly the year that I have accepted who I am and become happy with that person. So today, I wanna to talk to you guys about that and be open and honest and tell you that I'm gay. And this may come as a shock to a lot of you and it may be confusing, so I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. Growing up, I always knew I was a little bit different than everyone else. I always just had this feeling that I wasn't the same. But it wasn't until I was 12 years old until I really had pinpointed what that was. For some reason, my seventh grade year, I had this thought in the back of my head, what if I'm gay? And I immediately was so terrified. I'm from a small town in the Midwest. That's not a normal thing there. I didn't even know what that word meant. I'd only met a couple gay people in my entire life. It was terrifying to me to have to think that I was something that I knew nothing about. So I immediately pushed it away and tried to not think about it. But as anyone who's gone through this knows, you can't not think about it. I was up all night for I can't tell you how many nights just thinking, like looking at the ceiling, just thinking about this. And I was so scared of it that I never told anybody. So fast forward into high school, I tried to avoid it by dating girls. All I wanted to do was be like everyone else. So I would date girls, I would kiss girls, but I would feel nothing. I just wanted everything to be like everyone else said it was. I just wanted to be normal, I just wanted to talk about what I wanted to talk about and be who I was, but I didn't feel like I could be that. I felt so isolated because I had this secret that I couldn't even talk to myself about, let alone other people. And it wasn't until my sophomore year in college that I really thought about it. I thought about it so much that I became obsessed with it. And having that thought to myself for so long started taking over my life and I started feeling depressed. I felt like there was no escape from my own thoughts. But I thought to myself, maybe I can continue to avoid this. If I just don't act on it, it'll never be a thing. And I don't know what it was, but one year ago, I kept trying to get myself to look in the mirror and say it. I just, I was tired of running, I was tired of hiding who I truly was, so I just tried to say it. And I don't think you'll understand unless you've gone through it, but I couldn't say it. Like, I was not capable of saying it. My mouth could not utter those words. Until one time, I did. And I felt like a mixture of every emotion possible. I was really relieved that I finally said it, but I was also so terrified that I'd finally admitted that to myself. Then the next step was to tell a person. So in January of this year, after keeping one of my friends up till like 5 a.m. on his couch, I told him and I felt great. And from then on, I was just continuing to tell people. I started to tell more friends, I told my parents, I told my siblings, and one by one, I just started checking people off this list. And everyone was so great. I am so fortunate that everyone, they didn't even like, they didn't look at me different. They didn't treat me different. They just said, okay, like it was no big deal. This whole thing that I had built up inside me to be this huge deal for 22 years wasn't. In just one year, I've honestly felt like I am so happy with who I am. And I'm making this video because I was sick of having to think constantly about what I was doing, what I was saying, what I was wearing. Just, I don't wanna to have to think about everything I do. I just wanna be able to be me and not be afraid. I'm sick of censoring myself. This is just one little part of who I am. And I'm not gonna let my sexuality define or confine me. It's part of me. It's not all of me. So today I'm making this video for a couple reasons. One, I put a vast majority of my life on the internet and I want this to be one of those things. Two, the reason I accepted this information was because of the internet. I've watched every coming out video possible four times. I've Googled, I went in chat rooms, I found every way online to talk about this and to figure it out because I never felt comfortable actually talking about it to anybody. So I'm making this video for anyone 
who needs it. It's okay. It may not seem like it right now, but you are gonna be fine. I know it's scary, but don't be afraid. You are who you are and you should love that person. And I don't want anyone to have to go through 22 years of their life afraid to accept that. And three, I just wanna set a precedent. Race, gender, religion, sexuality, we are all people. And that's it. We're all people, we're all equal. I don't want anyone to have to be afraid. I don't want anyone to hold back who they are. It's not okay. It's not a good thing. And I don't, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. My friends, my family, and you guys have supported me through anything and everything, and I can't thank you for that enough. This has been easily the hardest thing I've ever had to do, but I'm so happy that I'm doing it. And this video somehow turned into a sad, serious moment, and I'm not gonna let it end on that note. In true Connor Franta fashion, I'm gonna end my videos like I always do because this is just another video. It's just another video where you found out a little more about me. So until next Monday, make sure this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment below, check out all my other videos, click subscribe, see you! Bye!